Thank you for coming to my video tutorial about how to paint uh, something like this. It's a uh, plain air, so we're going down on the beach, we're going to paint uh, plain air, then we're going to go on the mountains, we're going to go also in the city, you know, like you can go stand down there and do like, maybe not just this part here, so, but we, we find some really nice spot, like some old, old place uh, of the city. Uh, it's going to be a series of loads of uh, different um, short tutorials about uh, it's all about spatula painting on with oil paint on wood and um, yeah a series of uh, of uh, how to also prepare your wood you know like uh, you, you um, this is marine plywood and we we have to prime it first uh, like like this, like we use like a talcum powder. That's all you need. You need talcum powder and some uh, waterproof, uh, waterproof um, uh, wood glue. You find it. You, you, you go and look in the shop. Uh, it's wood glue. You know that white paste, uh, that white uh, sort of uh, creamy uh, stuff. Wood glue. You know the old wood glue. But it has to, it has to be uh, waterproof, okay? You find, you find this waterproof wood glue and you get some, um, some uh, baby powder, talcum powder, which the old masters, they used uh, uh, marble powder and, and rubbed skin glue, okay? And this lasted, look at all in, in, uh, in this, the Louvre or wherever, you know, this, um, where you find all these old masters paintings. Uh, and they're still, I mean, they, they have been around for centuries and they're still very well. So we don't know this about acrylics. I mean, how long has been acrylics? Okay, they used to smell something like acrylics is another thing. They, they, they used to have a gouache or was it a, a tempera? Um, okay, it's egg-based, I think they used to eggs. But never mind, we use uh, oil paint, just plain out of the tube, and, um, and we, we paint it on our wooden, wooden surface. Right, the video, my name is Claudio Raffenstein, by the way. Um, I paint here on the streets and in the mountains. And uh, well, I, I like to show you as well on, uh, on this video series, this video tutorial series, how to actually, um, <clears throat> how you can live as an artist. It's not just about, uh, uh, you, you know, just, you have to obviously create your style, uh, but th that's what I'm trying to help you with, you know, to start off with if you haven't got an, an idea yet how, how you actually do it. So I'm gonna start it off from scratch. The first part, the very first part is like how to, uh, um, to cut it, you have to cut it off yourself, buy it and cut it yourself. And, uh, but then, then how to uh, sand it down, which is easy, you just round off the corners and things. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, yeah, to sand it down and then to um, do the mixture. Like I'm going to show you on, a, on one video. I don't know if I do it as one part. The editing part, I will see how I'm going to do this. It's, um, this is just the introduction of the whole series, which I'm going to show you, okay? So yeah, uh, I'm going to show you how to um, prepare them, how to paint them, how to actually stand on the street, uh, on the piazza or some nice place where you have loads of tourists going past and um, how to how do I set up my things? Obviously, you probably find a different way um, you, that you prefer, but I show you my way. So, so you, we share these ideas. I mean, I'm, I'm probably gonna see on the comment when you, you tell me then later. Say, oh, look, Claudio, yeah, I, I do it like this, and I say, well, wow, thank you. Uh, uh, this is amazing. Uh, thank you for sharing it with me. So I'm, I'm gonna do it this way as well, you know, and. Um, yeah, I'm gonna show you how I stand 
because I, I prefer actually standing there with my easel and paint because people they they get they are interested you know they see you paint and they stop and they look sometimes they start chatting talking and obviously while they chat and, 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 and look at your you working it'd be nice if there's something there as well so they can see already finished and um, maybe buy you know they, they can buy it then so um, I set up with about, I have about two, three easels with lots of painting. But I, sh I, I like to show you all this on separate videos, okay? So, um, yeah, we start off with this first one, the very first part of everything, which is the foundation, okay? We do the foundation of this marine plywood and uh, hope you and then after after that we finish after we finish that we go down the beach and we we'll paint we'll paint something something like like this okay so we we're gonna have lots of fun okay also this one here I noticed when I when I when I did it on on the beach I could not do it in all in one part because it did take more than two and a half hours, something like that, two and a half, three hours. Count always count like say about three hours because like sometimes you you get stuck with the details as well and then it might take a little bit longer. Okay, so we we do that. We we first on this part I'm gonna show you how to uh, prepare the foundation and then we go down the beach. Okay, so I hope this is going to be quite helpful for you and, uh, and please write a comment when you find something which you think, oh, well, yeah, I'd rather do it like this or whatever. You know, like, um, please write a comment and uh, like it if you like it and, uh, and share it with other friends. Be nice. Okay, so yeah, hope you enjoy all this. Okay, so... Here we start with the first one on the terrace in the house and we prepare first, okay? Okay, have fun. Ciao. First I sort of roughly do the corners, round them off a bit. side you have it, on the other side you have not. But it's not so important really because you can always sand it down. Important is that you have a nice smooth surface. In this case I'm using this side okay, because we have got like safety things. So I'm using this side. Paper. I use sandpaper 150. See here, 150. Don't know if you can see it. Nice 
as it's most important is that you get rid of the fine hairs which are on the wood. show you how to mix the coating. So you better come with me now. Okay, here we are now for in the kitchen to prepare the uh, coating with um, okay talco profumato um, talk, uh, no, what you call it? Tal talcum powder, I think it's called. You know, the baby uh, bomb powder you put on baby's bum when they're getting all sore and that. It smells like roses. But you, if you're lucky, you can get this um, without perfume, without smell. 
smell less or whatever. My English has gone really bad. I'm really apologize for that. Um, okay, so what we've got ingredients, talk, perfume, cin cinematic alcohol. Okay, it has alcohol in there as well. But what it is, the old masters used um, Speckstein, what's that again in English? It's, um, I look it up later and I, I put it on the comment. <clears throat> Bim, Bimstone or something, you know, the, that stone you can carve quite easy. It's supposed to be not very healthy. Well, actually, actually, it's not very healthy to breathe it in. Well, they use marble powder or this bim stone, and um, which this is, I think, talcum powder is nothing else than uh, either marble powder or this um, Speckstein bim stone thingy, and. Um, it's perfect for, for the foundation of oil paintings like the old masters used it. Okay, so we, we use this uh, talcum powder with uh, wood glue, uh, MPC, which is like quite water resistant. It will last for centuries, okay, just like the old masters used to do. And you don't use any of this. Um, um, gesso, you know, gesso, it, it just uh, sucks all the moisture out of the oil paint. You might argue with me on that, but um, I experienced that, that it doesn't work with gesso. Uh, also, gesso is acrylic based. Why, why, should you, why should you put acrylic beneath oil paint? I mean, oil paint Based on is based on linseed oil and pigments, so, and and it's, it lasts much longer than than acrylics. So why put acrylics beneath the surface of oil paint? It's just not right. I find this is a better solution. It's cheap, and it lasts much longer, and um, it's a bit more effort. Okay, but it's not so much work. I show you now how you do it. We need. Um, a bowl. We need a wooden, wooden sticky thing like a, you get these spatulas from, from the chemist, for you know the doctors they say ah to put your tongue down and have a look inside your mouth. Uh, those those are the things. Okay, so we got your bowl. We got the, we got the. Uh, I think I, I can't really show you. The, 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 it's like a Schleichwerbung. Okay, I'll, so I've got this paint to make the paint. And we need water. Okay, so we have talcum powder, baby powder, what it is. Uh, that's it. Okay, so first of all, we Put some of the talcum powder in in your bowl. For the amount I've got out there, I think a bowl like this is sufficient. Plenty. So you put like, maybe we need some more talcum powder than that. So one of these bags is 500 grams. Um, we need a bit more than 500 for all those outside. I go and get them inside. No, I don't. I just get one to show you. I'll just get one for the test. Okay, a bit of water, lukewarm, between cold and lukewarm. Maybe you got a better way of doing this, you know, like a, um, people who cook, who are good cooks, with a, a flour, you know how you make this uh, flour, mixing flour in, in, 
in water in your sauce. I'm, I cook, but um, I don't ever really use flour in, in my cooking. I'm cooking things like this, you know, artichokes, um, artichokes, lentils, very really lovely. Okay, right then. Lukewarm water, <coughs> towards, more towards cold than warm. But it would be nice if you find a better way, please put it in a comment or write me an email or whatever. It would be very helpful. It's nice to share to share our experiences, you know. So I'm going to put some like this. Maybe I'll put too much. I don't know. No, it's okay. You say, oh my God, he's going to put all lumps in there. Uh, don't worry. They, they, they go away. Trouble is, I'm, got, I'm putting this, my system I'm, put, I'm, I'm using, I get loads of air bubbles, which, which you will see later, it's not easy to get them out. Oh, smells like roses. <laughs> you got your oil painting smelling of roses. Why not? So we have another dimension. You have um, uh, oil painting on spatula, which has like a, a depth of field. Uh, uh, he has like a color range, he has a 3D surface, and um, the nose, the smell, smell of roses, or whichever talcum powder you're gonna get. Maybe it just smells just like a baby. Would be nice for oil paintings of babies, smelling of babies. <laughs> Why not? You probably sell them better then. Sell your baby oil paintings much, much better because the people who buy it, they smell the painting of baby and have a better connection to the painting. Okay, so we got like here like a, sort of like a creamy, uh, no, actually stays on, on the, Stays on the um, on the spatula. Look, not bad. But that doesn't matter now because we have to put some some more in. Actually, more. We need we need more because it's not sufficient. Okay. And I need more. Oh. Not too much, you don't want it too thin, but you also don't want it too thick. But once you put the glue in, it just thins as well. Make it a mess here. Mm, I quite like this consistency. Now, now you will see once the glue comes in, it's going to be nice. Hey, who would have thought of that? Uh, talcum powder, better than gesso. And it's, they're making a lot of money out of this gesso. You go to an art shop, you buy a, a thing like this of gesso, it costs you, I don't know, 15 euro or something like that. Okay, this is not cheap either. One of these costs about 10 euro but you get loads more out of it. You get about three times the amount out of it. Let's see if I can empty this one first. I think this one is this water actually. Um, maybe, maybe I'm using this one. Let's shake it first. This is a rest from last time. It already has some water in there. Did I shake my camera? Uh, you can still see everything, no? Let's have a look. Let's check it. Let's check it on my image thing. Yeah, you can see everything. Okay. And it's recording. Yeah. Okay. Glue. I'm not going to show you with the water down yet. I'll show you with the original glue because that's what you're going to get, what you're buying, so you know exactly what, how it is. Okay, so we... 
This is half full because I've already used half of it for the last time. Okay, so I'm going to put almost all of it in there. They a three quarter of that, almost a three quarter of of the amount you already got of your talcum powder, baby powder. And yeah, we need it much. We need it more liquid. I made it a bit too thick. Too thick. <laughs> I'm visiting my mother at the moment in Italy, and uh, so I'm in her kitchen. Quite a nice kitchen, but I don't I don't find myself that well in here because I don't know where everything is, and I prefer my kitchen. Obviously, you you prefer it doing it in your kitchen too instead of my kitchen. There, you see, you've got air bubbles, which are not very good to have. But we get rid of them. Vibrating, you know, like vibrating like this later once we're done. Or you could stick a mobile phone underneath and keep calling yourself, you know, on vibration. <laughs> Probably, maybe that's a good way of, I haven't tried it yet, but it just came in my mind, uh, you know, maybe that's a good way of getting rid of the air bubbles. Because when I, when I was young, about 18, something like that, yeah, I was about 18, 17, 18, I was a dental technician for a while, an apprentice, and uh, we used to mix, like, uh, what skips? Um, but no, pl plaster, that's right, plaster. We used to mix plaster and to get rid of the air bubbles in the plaster, we had like a, a, a vibrating table sort of thing and you need to turn it on. And it's the same sort of um, sound as the mobile phones on vibration. Maybe, maybe that's a good way of doing it, just call yourself with till the air bubbles are gone. What are you doing? I'm calling myself to get rid of the air bubbles. Why not? Another use of a mobile phone. Huh? Okay, it's right. So, we try this. Maybe we need a little bit thinner, maybe. And I think we might need more. We might need more. I'm doing it a little bit thinner because it's a bit still too thick. Uh -uh. Yeah, this is what, how I like it. This is how I like it. Especially this uh, first coat, you know what I mean? Look at it, you got the grain, oh, it's really porous. The thinner you got it, the better it can soak inside these pores and have a grip and hold on to, to the wood itself. If you, if you have it too thick, it doesn't absorb into the wood, you know? That's why, like, when, when you do, like, planks on boats, and um, that's how I know it off, like, when I used to work on my wooden boat, uh, you use, like, on, on deck, for example, you use a, a diesel to dilute uh, your linseed oil, so you, you brush your deck with linseed oil, but for the first coatings you put some diesel inside. <laughs> that's, that's what I was told then, and I, I did it, uh, and it worked fine. It was really great. It, it just, the wood was just absorbing it, just taking it in, and, and all the linseed oil got sucked inside with the, with the diesel. 
because the diesel is more like a runny than the linseed oil. And you see our uh, air bubble problem here. Be nice, like if you find if you find a way, well, please let me know. That'd be awesome. So that way we help each other out. You know, everything is for free. That's what's so amazing about the era we, we live in. I mean, it's never been like this. We have the biggest library in in the world, the resource of all the information. We have it all in our house. Each individual one of us, each one of us has, has the, the capacity of the biggest library in the world. And it's for free. It's amazing. And we're all using it and, um, and we share our, our knowledge with it. I mean, this is the area where human race can be the most intelligent he ever was. Well, we, we don't know, uh, Egypt and, you know, but uh, yeah, amazing. I mean, the internet, is, it's, it's the resource of information, of knowledge. We just have to know how to use it, you know? We just use it instead of abusing it. You know, just like, yeah, well, I'm waffling on. Let's just get on with, with how with our uh, preparation of the um, uh, birch wood, uh, birch plywood for the oil paintings for spatula, spatula painting, spatula oil painting preparation. Okay, I think this is quite nice here. I, maybe I'd like to put a little bit more powder in, but I'm just afraid, well, I do it. I'm just afraid about the air bubbles. I'm just going to get too many air bubbles or lumps now. See, if you put the powder in after, you, you're going to get all these lumps. See, lumps. Now, a cook will tell me, yeah, well, use a mixer, use a... Zzz, uh, um, Schneebesen, um, I don't know what it's called in English. Yeah, but now, you know, you see, you got my lumps. Pl loads of lumps. Let's put some more lumps in there. Now we add it. You think, what the heck is he doing? Does he really know what he's doing? Well, no, not really, because I'm still experimenting. You know, it's all still an experiment. But I did some, you know, and it really works. Amazing. It's just great. We're going to get rid of the lumps. Don't worry. We get rid of the lumps. We just have to stir longer and you have to listen to me waffling on a bit more. Maybe I take the schneebies and the, the, the whisker. I think it's a whisk. I think it's called a whisk. A snow whisk? No, a, a cream whisk. I forgot now what it's called in English. I'm really rusty in English, but I miss, I miss the UK. I miss England. And Ireland. Ireland, my favorite place. Irish people, are from, for me, the Irish people, are just, um, I just get on best with them because, like, they're, they're just, they're like, having fun drinking, they like the booze. And they're okay without, you know, like they're, they're having fun. They don't get so aggressive. Of course you get some idiots. You always get some idiots everywhere that just like, they started getting aggressive and all that once they had too much booze. But I find with the Irish people, that they're, they're the people who can mostly take their booze. They're, they're just, start dancing on the table and just being totally silly, you know, that's, yeah, I like, love Ireland. The only trouble is always, it's a lot of rain, grey. I quite like it here at my mother's place now, that I'm staying here for, for about three months, just to look after her, you know, and in three months my sister looks after her as well, and so, yeah, but it's nice here because look, it's middle in the winter, okay, we have clouds now, but most of the times we have sun, 
it's, it's, we are North Italy. At the moment, in South Italy, it's lots of snow. It's colder than up North Italy. <coughs> See, all the lumps are gone now, but we have loads of air bubbles. This is like foam, eh? it's like really gone foamy. We're gonna get rid of them foam as well. And the lumps, we got rid of them. Let's have a look. Um, the lumps. But it, don't worry about too much about the lumps either, you know, because you will see once you brush it on there, you, you spread the lumps over. Have a look at this. Have a look at that. See? The lumps, what about them? We don't have lumps. This is quite a nice consistency. This is how I like it. Yeah, that'll do. We, can, we use this one. We don't have to dilute anymore. Maybe a little bit more, but it's okay. I mean, if you, if you have more wood to prepare, maybe it's best to, to, to have it a bit more, a bit thinner. But it's fine. This is great. Okay, we do it outside. Take it outside and we carry on outside. And then you can watch me do all of them on high speed. Which is my monitor. See, if I would have done it thicker. They would have not absorbed so well. You do it like this way first, and the second time I pass over, I'm going this way. Okay, but first I'm doing it this way. All of them. So settle down, you go over again with your second coat. But this time you go across. First you went criss, now you go cross. And that's all you need. After that you just sand it down. And that's it. You don't have to coat it again. That's sufficient. Ah, important is as well. Once you once you've done it all, I just go around again and just do all the sides like this. Because it's nice if you put the sides as well. That way no humidity can get in into the side of the plywood. And it's all nicely sealed. See, like that. The air bubbles, they go away. See, bloop, bloop, bloop. They just go away. The ones which stay, it's no problem because then on the end, when it's dry, 24 hours at least, you go over again with the sandpaper and you have it nice and smooth. I'll show you all that later as well.
It might happen that your plywood might just form a little bit like this while it's drying. And don't, don't start worrying about it because it all goes back again once it's dry. It goes back to its original position. This is the following day, all done, all dry. You still see the of the air bubbles, but you can see how we get, we're gonna get rid of them. There you go. You just have to pass over this once gently. Again, this is same sandpaper, 150. That's it, you don't have to do much. Just like that. Just get it one even surface. Like silk. Feels just like silk. And that's the perfect surface to paint on wood with a spatula. So your spatula can slide over really nice. And also, it doesn't soak in the linseed oil like, like it does on, on, on the acrylic gesso stuff. That's all. You just do that with all of them and, and you're done. So as you see, I started already without you. I thought it wasn't really that important to show you how to actually cut them out. But um, yeah, I don't, don't really want to destroy all this paper and keep buying paper all the time again. Because it's all extra money as well. And you try to make it as cheap as possible. Because <clears throat> it's not that you're going to make a lot of money out, out of your paintings. You have to count all that, you know. It's, it's your... your the glue you have to buy, the, uh, the talcum powder, the baby powder, which is about, I think it's uh, uh, 100 grams, one euro, more or less, something like that. So yeah, you just add all them together, so then you have to buy the paper, the paper is expensive as well. And that way, I'm only wasting money on extra masking tape, where I cut the holes in, I just glue it all up again, stick it up. Yeah, you cut them out with a, with a knife. I've got a pinel with my favorite knife. I always have it in my pocket. Yeah, this is after it's been dried for 24 hours and this is already gone hard. Much harder than the gesso. Gesso I found this alright for 
on canvas for, you know, when I paint on canvas. I don't know why it works on canvas, but it, it doesn't work on wood, the gesso. So, I, I just use my method for wood. At least I know that one works. And about the old masters, they didn't have the wood glue what we have today. They used something like called rabbit uh, rabbit skin glue or something. I don't know what it was called, but but they used rabbit 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 skin. That's what they used for the glue. I don't want to use rabbit skin. The poor baby rabbits. I don't want to. You know, I don't want to kill them for my oil paintings. So I just use what I can get, like uh, a nice waterproof wood glue. You have to find it. You don't find it everywhere. They usually have like wood glue, which is just basic uh, school wood glue or something. I don't don't think that is good. You need waterproof and not acrylic definitely not acrylic you know otherwise you can just go and buy buy gesso our science as artists as painters we should share all this knowledge there used to be a really good book I used to have in, in, in the UK. I think it was called uh, The Artist's Cookbook or something like that. That was a really good one. We had loads of recipes of, you know, of all what, what has been used to for, for years and years. All the materials for artists, all poisonous stuff as well, which you have to be, be careful of. You know, like for example, Titanium white, it's very poisonous. You have it in your hands, you know, it goes in, in your pores and it's poisonous. But still, I'm, I'm not going to use gloss. I just, but sometimes I, I like to put my finger inside and when I paint. Maybe you get some nice white oil oil paint which is um, not poisonous who knows yeah but something like that would be good again like uh, uh, the, the artist cook, cookbook I think it was called I have to look up maybe maybe it's still around that was an old book oops oh, oh, oh. but look at how hard it's already this is after 24 hours, look at that, look at that. 24 hours. Okay, now I'm just gonna get rid of the back, roughly. Like There you can see the air bubble problem, look, you see it, but there it's fine, look. smooth, maybe here in the corner, so you know where you have the rim of the paint, not going down properly, there you have, you might just sand it a little bit more. So your name in there, you can also, also put like a sticker of like a, what do you call it, like a warranty of, um, of genuity, genuity, 
find out it's a genuine product. Yeah, that's working well. It is working well. So uh, you have to put, you have to all add that to your price. You know, you, you ask you how much is the painting? Say two hundred euro. Two hundred euro. What? They don't see how much work is involved, and you have expensive. Uh, you have expenses. You have the oil paint and all the, the, the materials and all the work. They don't see that. A lot of them don't see it. We have one done. Our first one. Yeah, and you just sent is all of them. One thing I want to show you is for our next video, if you like to see how to paint something like this <coughs> and plein air on the wood we just prepared I'm, go I'm going to take you down the beach and uh, and show you all about it how uh, how to paint on plein air on the beach with all the sand inside the paint and which is um, quite annoying if you have sand in your oil paint but you can't avoid it sometimes when you have wind you know that it just blows into your paint and and these are the, the, the things you just have to live with but it makes the thing special okay so thank you for watching and uh, I see you on the next video if you like and um, have a good time Bye-bye.